One of the most difficult aspects of Infinity Siege is towards the end when you're hunting for heroics. Well, now I have a strategy that is going to completely transform your experience. This is going to double, if not triple, your outcome in terms of what you can get from your heroics within each tour. This is one of the best strategies I know of in terms of how to farm them the most efficiently. If you're not familiar with this strategy, it's going to completely change the way you experience our post Infinity Siege. It will take the grind and just take it down a couple of notches. This strategy is definitely what I'll be doing from now on, and it's going to save me so much time. Probably save you some time as well especially if you're not familiar with it but anyway let's get into it the best way to get heroics currently in the game if you do get anything out of this please help me out give me a like subscribe do all the good stuff there is a lot of weight anyhow i'm sin killer thanks for joining me let's get into this now in order for me to show you how this very very helpful method in obtaining heroic is we'll have to understand how many we have in our inventory so we can actually come back and check so i've gone through my inventory and i have 22 of the big boys seem to be the most common and easiest one for me to get i have six uranium 18 cataract cores, eight ion batteries, seven xenium soil, and the big one, 11 nanoprocessors. This is my heroic storage that I have at the moment. So now we're going to run through a tour and I'm going to show you what we're looking for because I highly recommend using this strategy in order to get best outcomes for your heroics. It is an absolute grind getting nanoprocessors. Whew, it is difficult, but there is some really effective ways to make this so much faster. So let's get into it. Now it'll make more sense why we needed to take a bit of a stock take of all the different heroics once we get more to the end. So for this, we're going to go to the city ruins we're going to go difficulty three okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort of step through this tour until we find some of the key ingredients for the most effective ways to get your heroics so i'm going to go through this let's do it okay so what we are doing is we're just landing in first area and i'm just checking for heroics i don't see any heroics so i'm not really interested to stick around oh hang on Oop, take that back we do have a heroic perfect okay so we're gonna go grab that okay so we have a lot of luck so the first thing we got was a nanoprocessor now, I don't know about you, but these guys have been extremely difficult and rare for me. It's taken a lot of tours just to get enough build. One Hellfire. Yes, so we just finished that and we were very, very fortunate. Now we have the random regent. This is one of those key critical aspects to this strategy in terms of farming heroics that will really speed up your progress. For the random regent, this will double three stacks of any of the component region equal or above purple randomly. However, we have to remember enemies gain 30% more attack and HP, but we are absolutely looking for this. If you ever see this, grab it. This is a key part to the strategy that we will be doing. Now we'll just go on to the next area, but note, the aim here is pretty much just be landing on the golden houses. You can find heroics in these other non-golden areas, but the chances are a lot slimmer because they tend to be sneaky and be in lockers or something like that, or in places where it won't necessarily pick up on your scanner. So it's a bit harder to make this part of the quick process. So this tutorial will just be focusing on the golden points of interest for the most part. Now, I'm just going to pretty much skip until we can get to this area here. But another strategy that can also be really effective is actually just visiting and going proceed on every single location looking for heroics and if you find any you'd go collect them if you don't you just try to get out of there complete the tasks that you need to and get out of there don't worry about picking up anything else sort of by end game you do get quite cashed up a lot of the stuff you can buy at the store and if you are looking for some of the more orange components then you could also be picking those up sending them back in the drone so in fact for the purpose of this i will quickly go through and proceed to each location just to see if we can get some more heroics or increase the chances of heroics in order to show you how this all works properly they were very lucky again we got absolute defense so this is another very important risk incident that is also going to help increase our heroics so upon recovery gain plus one resource to all epics or above materials in your storage now i'll come and explain materials component regions you may understand this but just in case you don't we'll come to that towards the end but we'll absolutely grab absolute defense it's unfortunately no heroics in these just from a quick scan but now we move on to the more likely areas where we will find them so let's go ahead and do that so i've landed and there are uh, no red or heroics i should say clearly on the map but there are a ton of these lockers so we're just going to check these lockers and see if we have any luck because if a heroics in a locker it's never going to be uh, displayed as red always going to be displayed as purple pretty much so just keep that in mind there could definitely be some in there we just won't know until we get there and try and unfortunately no luck but it's sometimes it's definitely worth checking just in case so again we are into the next sort of golden location and no reds but there are lots of places they could be hiding in this building so we're just go check see if we can get lucky okay so i've run in and here we have a one nano process sitting in the cupboard though so is why it's important to check the cupboards this will probably be in the tips and tricks but yeah definitely this is why it is very 
deceptive because you will scan and you won't see that there's a red sitting right there because it's inside one of the lockers. Lockers, cupboards, containers. So just keep that in mind. Very much worthwhile when you do try this trick and you're looking for heroics to do a scan and just check the lockers because that can increase your yield or your potential of getting a lot of these heroics in your tours. Okay, so we're up to the last spot. I was able to snag another nano processor. That's three we have for this tour. So here we are. We've finished the tour. We've got a bunch of stuff. In particular, we got three nano processors, which is very, very lucky. I have been trying this a few times just to try to get this and set this scenario up. So it's really sweet that we can get a really good example. So the key and most critical aspect to this strategy in farming heroics, which is going to get even more potent with the patch that's coming that should increase the drops of heroics because it's going to really speed this whole thing up so the critical things are the random region so what does that do it's going to double three stacks of a component region equal or above purple so how do we want to set this one up we want to make sure that we only have three heroic nano processes or three heroic whatever and no purple component region and make sure you do not have any other component region that is purple or above so you could definitely get away with throwing in some of your green your blue and your common which is just the clear ones so keep that in mind we're just trying to prioritize our items based on what it says so equal to or above purple so if we throw in a purple or an orange component region it's going to pick them at random so we we definitely decrease the chances of getting the insane results that we will from using this risk incident random regent card so just make sure you just try stick only heroic if you've only got one heroic and you've got a couple good orange or purple then throw one of those two in as well but just try stick to three heroics to get the best result so what do they mean by component regent you would notice by now but all the different items in the description will put it into a category so this card right here this is going to double so we're going to get thick standard processes which is huge it's already basically like doing two tours or three or sometimes even four if you get unlucky now what we want to be careful is we don't want to chuck in any other component region because it's only going to double three stack so we don't want to throw it off and have it increase or double the turret nexus when we can instead double the nano processor so for this we are going to be very cautious and throw that back and just have the three nano processors next insanely potent card is the absolute defense upon recovery gain plus one resource to all epic or above and then in brackets materials in your storage so what is this saying so what this is saying is it's going to go plus one so it's again we're going to pretty much double these nano processes so we'll start with three then we'll turn into six and for memory we'll have to test this i can't remember exactly this will either turn that six into 12 or into 18 because i'm not sure if it actually stacks so we'll find out once we get to the end and what does it mean by materials so materials are all your component regions they are all materials there's a few other things that get thrown into the material category as well from memory but from my understanding it's just all your component regions but i just want to make definite sure that we don't get anything to interfere with this process so we're just going to keep the nano processes but in theory we should be able to put in some valuables to get to use these other random valuable bounty valuable risk incidents to really boost our income but what we absolutely don't want is any other component region so we're just going to roll with this now for the stuff we want to take home we're going to put that in our backpack now my understanding is you can put it in your backpack and then shoot it into your drone and that will not impact the risk incident but i'm not 100 certain of that so let me know in the comments if you know if that's fine if it isn't just check the comments i'll have something pinned make sure we understand it correctly okay so we've got our setup we're going to throw this away we're not really interested because this whole thing is just farming the most rarest and difficult components to get which are your heroics and with this one run we're going to have an amazing result okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to complete the extract and then we're going to look at the returns before we move on just to really drive it home the way this will work is random region absolute defense at least try get one of these in your runs using a mixture of quick looting or just landing on each location quickly scanning if there's no epics leave it or quickly do the mission and leave that location and you're in search for these two cards to really get the best out of this strategy okay let's do it okay here we are so the end result let's have a look at order goodies okay so this is what we took back some of this stuff i picked up uh which which should not interfere from my understanding let's just go and check oh shit now <laughs> i don't know if we can click this or like how we can scroll down can we scroll down i don't think we can scroll down but you can already see oh, oh, oh we've got some extra nano processes let's have a look so we originally started with three we can definitely see that we've doubled and we've also got two extras which i'm guessing we've also got an extra one there so we've gone from three to nine which is huge but let's just go check our inventory now from memory we started off with 11 but that's all these ones to the left here and 
from <laughs> whoa so from that three that we picked up so the one two three we grabbed we had the card that doubled the stack so we get an extra three nano process from the emi card from memory put it up on the left hand corner just so we know what it is then we also had the absolute defense which gave a plus one of every material so what it looks like is happening is that we have the initial three the emi card will double it giving us these two and then the absolute defense is looking at these six and then giving a plus one at least that's my understanding it might not be 100 percent correct let me know in the comments if you understand it exactly but the key takeaway is we've gone from a three measly nano processes to 12 which is insanity now keep in mind there is one more card the emi card that would also further double this which i think would almost give us 18 nano processes so there's potential here to stack these three cards that i'll show you just on the right hand side left hand side whatever it is if you can get all three of these in one run and get some heroics you can multiply your heroic stockpile at a crazy rate so these are the three you are looking for i didn't get the emi so i didn't really show this but i just wanted to highlight that you can also get the emi card that's going to significantly increase your heroics look for these three cards this is why this is such an efficient crazy way to get heroics super quickly this is probably repeatable within a 10 to 15 minute time frame of farming but that means this is by far the most effective way and again this is going to get even more crazy and more efficient because we should be getting the update in the patch where these heroics will be dropping more frequently it's my understanding so what a difference this will make so those two cards the emi card and the absolute defense are insane always try get those some people will just quick loot until they find them and then they'll start going to locations which saves time in a way but as it's not always a sure thing that you're going to get either of those cards but a lot of the time you should get one so an absolutely incredible way to do it i wish i knew this a bit sooner it would have really helped with some of my earlier tours in this hunt for heroics but now you know i hope this helps someone do let me know if i've got anything wrong i'll make some corrections in the comment i think my understanding might be off in terms of how the cards stack but it definitely it definitely does look like they are stacking which is awesome i really really like how they've implemented these risk incidents do a follow-up video to explain this in more detail once i understand it a bit better but i just really wanted to throw this out there so you could try this yourself this will really help speed up your runs and get the most out of your touring absolutely incredible way to speed it up anyway thanks so much if you got anything out of this please consider liking subscribing it really helps me out peace